Right, everyone, stop what you're doing. We've got to check out this package here. I'm really hoping this in here is the Nissan Skyline R34, the uh, Color Shift one, because uh, <laughs> this this car gave me some minor heart attacks, and uh, it better be in here. Uh, worryingly, it's got a rather impressive punt in the side of it there. Those three people that saw me make the post, this thing had sat in customs for so long, I assumed that this was lost in the post. And uh, after seven days, it's finally cleared and uh, seems to have arrived. Well, I'm pretty sure it's this. It's, there's nothing else it could be. So uh, I'm really hoping it's in here. Obviously, everyone who's uh, clicked on the video already knows because I've had to use it as the title, blah, blah, blah. Oh, oh thank God. Oh, Christ. Um, oh, yeah, it's a bit... Oh, <laughs> the, the case has fared better. Oh, it's already opened. Oh no. Let's get the box out of the way. Right. Yeah, we can we can literally see where hang on. I know I just chucked the box away, but we can clearly see where the dents happened, can't we? Oh. Oh well, I, uh, hopefully the car's alright. Yeah, that's um kind of had it. I feel like it's been kicked around the floor at customs or something and forgotten about. But uh yeah, this took a long time to get through. <laughs> right, so to be fair uh mm, no actually right. I was gonna say the case is the card's fine but it isn't. Crease uh Crease. It's not terrible. I mean, I've seen worse posted uh, in the forums. Although some of them you think are so bad, you think surely they've done that themselves. And the corners are a bit dented, but uh, it's, it's not terrible, I guess. I mean, you have to turn it around to see it. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. I mean, I'm just happy the car's arrived, to be honest. And we're going to cut this one out. So if the the card's completely destroyed, I guess it just makes it easy for me to take it out, but um, I feel like this is one we've definitely got to enjoy out of the uh, card here. So, so I'm just getting distracted by the colour shift, but I suppose it, we won't be able to see it very well until it's out of the card. So what we'll do, I'm so relieved it's here, <laughs> have I stated that yet? I really did think this one was lost in, po in post. Um, especially as I've had another package from Yodel recently lost as well and I was trying to sort all that out with the seller all while I was fretting about this. So I'll freeze, fr blah, 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 blah. So I'll freeze frame it here and we'll have a read of that. Nissan Skyline GTR R34 is the fifth generation in the GTR series. As if this car wasn't already dominant in the racing world, the R34 sped into the scene ready to go. Improved aerodynamics due to body rigidity, increased performance while maintaining its already standout style, this Hot Wheels version has stunning purple and blue chameleon paint and black Real Rider six-spoke wheels. The PERP license plate solidifies the awesome colour scheme of the car. Very cool. I've never been, I've never been as big of a thing on the uh, custom number plates. You know, PERP, because it's purple. I'm sure people like that thing. Never been my kind of modification, but there we are. I'm not going to complain the car's got it because it's a die cast Hot Wheels in it. So yeah, let's cut this one open. <laughs> Look at me, I've really come a long way. I've gone from not opening any pre uh, yeah, premiums, not opening any of the Redline Club cars, to opening probably some of the most sought after. The worst part of me thinking I'd lost it is I went on eBay because I, like, I really want to see what this... I really, really was curious about the paint more than anything. Um, I wouldn't care if this paint was on a more generic car, but the fact it had to be put on the Skyline GTR obviously made this much more valuable. Picking up one of these on eBay, it was easy, 100, 120 quid. I wasn't going to be paying 100 plus on top of what they should retail as. So, uh, yeah. I'm just happy it's here. Now... I'm just digressing, cutting it open, aren't I? <laughs> Are you ready, little Hot Wheels? It's okay, I'll be gentle. <coughs> no, I'm not going to be one of them fucking maniacs. Yeah, I'm not going to be like one of those people with the uh, the weird obsession with um, 
just absolutely destroying the cars. Like, I get it, it's their hot wheels, they can do what they want, but the fact, let's face it, they knew people, like with the pink skyline, they knew people were struggling to get that car, and that's the only reason they did all that for the clout. Let's face it, I haven't actually seen people do that as much since, so that kind of proves my point. I don't know. People probably doing it with this skyline as well. I mean, if you've seen anyone destroying these cars for clout, do let me know, but I haven't seen it lately. There we go. I was going to say conveniently cut out, but I just did it, so what do you mean conveniently? Right, let's get it out. I've been doing, I've, I forgot about doing this for some reason lately. I don't know why. I used to do it often, just to cut the bottom of the card. A blister like that and then you can slide the car out for some reason I forgot about doing it admittedly yeah this is not the prettiest looking uh, blister but there we are that was my discord don't worry if it even pick if the mic even picked that up right the R34 this is now my first RLC R34 skyline awesome <laughs> yeah Hopefully the camera will pick this up pretty well, but I might have to do a little bit of colour grading because I want to try and get this as well as I can see it in the eye. Um, wow, that's cool. So what I'll, what I'll point out currently, although I'm hopefully going to be able to sort this in a post, the blue, the camera is seeing the colour shift, but the blue to the eye at the minute is almost like a, a, a sort of greenish blue, a turquoise. I'm going to have to mute my Discord, I'm going to send everyone crazy if they can hear that. Right, let's try to turn this light off, see if just this, I know it gets quite dark, but... Ooh, it's a bit better. God, look at that thing shine. Um, I could also play around with, it's probably best I just do it in post, isn't it really? Then we quickly change the colour. Uh, the, the white balance. I've changed the white balance and I think that's pretty damn close. I mean it's still looking a little bit more pink to the camera than it does to the uh, eye because it's much more of a purple but it does have a really good shine to it. Oh that's cool. All the details are pretty on point. Yeah, they're, they're good. Details are very, very good. I'm liking the uh, silver wheels on this one. Little badge on the side. There's the rear light details. The exhaust, the perp on the number plate. Very, very nice. Yeah, the Skylines are all obviously awesome cars. Probably a little bit overrated in my opinion. Um, but as these things, yeah, these things just are, aren't they? Oh, right-hand drive too. Nice. Got some red for the uh, harnesses in the seats as well. Did see some people having issues with the screen gap between the roof and the screen. Luckily mine seems pretty alright. Does this one have an opening hood? be a shame if I just forgot that. Looks like it does so I'll uh, try and get that open in a second. But yeah, the interior looks really good actually. Got the gear stick in there as well, detailed in. Speakers in the old parcel shelf as well. That is really nice but the colour is where it's at and I don't think my video is doing it justice enough. I don't think the videos are going to do it justice. I might have to uh, do some video recordings of it outside perhaps, that's probably going to be the best lighting I'll get confirming at the end of this video but man the colour on this is awesome, definitely is definitely worth the colour, the problem is I'm also looking at it so when I do it it goes sort of it colour shifts here whereas on the camera it takes a little bit more bit, I'm lost for words honestly right so finally, oh there we go there's the hood oh it doesn't stay open seems a bit loose on this one makes it easy to open though I suppose let's take a look at that awesome engine detail in there oh yeah a very respectable amount of detail in the engine bay on this casting as well try and get the 
camera to focus on that for you. I've done tracking on it, but it just has not focused. <laughs> Useless. Oh, cancel tracking. Look, it's, it's focused. So I took the car outside to see if it was any better, and I, I knew it looked better, but I was really not expecting it to look that much better. Really, really blown away by the colours in this car. And another thing I didn't notice originally, they've actually painted little brake discs and calipers inside the wheels there. Quite a cool little detail to be fair, which you can just about see through the alloys, so that is nice. Well, there we are. The R34 colour shift skyline, it looks absolutely beautiful. I'm so happy it's arrived, <laughs> and relatively in one piece, but um, yeah, I wanted to open this car, so very, very happy with that. Let me know what you think of this car down below in the comments. Let me know if you pick one up. I don't think the sale on this one was too bad. I'm pretty sure they've made quite a few of these. So, uh, yeah, the sale lasted a good 10, 20 minutes from memory, I think. It wasn't too bad of a sale, but, uh, yeah. Let me know what you think of it down in the comments. Cheers for stopping by. Don't forget to like and sub for more as well. I'll see you in the next one.